So I want to go back to the 10 words that my, uh, one of the guys I really respect, uh, James Dottie, he's over, he runs the Compassion Institute at Stanford. And I want people to think of these words every day. Number one, C, compassion. Have compassion for the human race. Have compassion for yourself and everything on the earth. Number two, dignity. Everyone deserves dignity. Doesn't come with skin color, doesn't come with sexual orientation, doesn't come with race. Every human, every living object deserves dignity and to be treated that way. Equanimity. Equanimity means calm in the face of chaos. We are in a chaotic situation, but bring calm. Yelling at each other doesn't bring anybody any good. F, forgiveness. You know, it's really easy to, if someone comes into the hospital, and I see this and I, when I talk to healthcare workers, why didn't they get vaccinated? You know what? We have to forgive those people. They have their own reasons. Yeah. I'm imploring people to get vaccinated. There's no excuse not to, but let's forgive one another for things that may not have been done appropriately. Gratitude. This is one we're losing right now, right? What should I be? There's nothing to be grateful for. Yes, there is. You woke up today and didn't have COVID. You woke up today feeling well. You woke up today able to care for your family and your kids. Have gratitude for those things that are good in your life. And we all have things that are good in our life. Humility. This is a really big one. Because um, as scientists, we're trying to predict certainty. Everybody wants certainty in their life, right? Well, even the scientists, even those who study this every day, eight hours a day, are humbled by what's going on because we just don't understand the virus as well as we want to. So we all have to be humble and we all have to live with this uncertainty knowing we don't know exactly what's going to happen tomorrow. I is for integrity. And this is another one that we just don't have the integrity in our news anymore. We don't have integrity in how we communicate with one another. Amen, brother. Um, and we need, to, we need to have integrity. So as a person in the medical field who's talking to you, that is one of the things that's so important to me. I'm not going to, you know, tell you wild things. I want to have integrity. K, this is something you can practice every day. Kindness. Mm. Kindness. I mean, I read about things, people beating the hell out of people on airplanes. <laughs> Yeah. Be kind. You know what? We are all in this thing together and we are all feeling the anxiety and the confusion. Be kind to one another because kindness evokes chemicals in our body, dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, that not only makes us feel better, but makes your fellow human feel better. Be kind. L, love. We need to demonstrate that we love one another, not in the romantic sense, but that we love our fellow selves and that we love ourselves. Demonstrate love every day in some Je little way. Jesse Colin Young, Doc, <laughs> the yeah. young blood, yeah. <laughs> but it, it just is, you know, we've <laughs> this society of hate and this society of misinformation is yeah. just, you know, the integrity of news has just precipitously declined over time. And we know the good news sources. We know the crazy news sources. Um, and um, we really need to have integrity in our scientific community and even amongst ourselves. So those are words I want to leave with people. But I, the big four are hope. There is hope. This will get, we'll get through this. Kindness. Be kind to one another. Be kind to one another. Show love and show care. And do you know what the best way to show care to our healthcare workers is? Get a vaccination, <laughs> wear your mask, and help them out. Yeah. Help Mira out. Help those people out there that you saw there in the photos. I, you know, that makes an old man weepy to hear some of that. But, you know, I started off the podcast and we kind of got off to a flying stop because of the internet issues or the problem with Facebook. But I was explaining, Doc, that you're 
you know, your, your modern history anyway, is this mind body connection. And what you're talking about here are these mind things, this, uh, which is huge. And it also has to do with medicine. It isn't just a doctor shoving pills at you. It's a doctor telling you things like this, inspiring you, uh, you know, uh, mending yeah. your mind, so to speak, that has a lot to do with health and well-being. You can live in a world of hate and conflict, or you can live in a world of love and compassion. It really is your choice. And I did forget one letter, J, judgment. Oh, sure. We're constantly judging each other, right? So I judge someone because they didn't get a vaccine. Well, if I don't know the backstory, then maybe I shouldn't make that judgment. And I don't mean to judge people for not getting it. I'm just saying, you know what, the best way to treat COVID is prevent COVID.